This video will provide you with an overview of the 2013 ACC AHA blood cholesterol guidelines. The first major change is that patients will no longer be treated to LDL targets. Secondly, four major groups have been identified to benefit from statins. Group number one includes individuals with clinical atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease, which includes coronary heart disease, stroke, and peripheral arterial disease. Group number two are those patients with primary LDL elevations greater than 190. Group number three are diabetics aged 40 to 75 years with an LDL of 70 to 189. And finally, group number four includes patients aged 40 to 75 years old with an LDL of 70 to 189 and have a 10-year atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease risk greater than or equal to 7.5%. In Groups 1 and Group 2, high-intensity statins are recommended. High-intensity statins lower LDL by greater than 50%. These include atorvastatin 40 to 80 mg and rosuvastatin 20 to 40 mg. In Groups 3 and 4, moderate-intensity statins are recommended. Moderate-intensity statins lower LDL by 30 to 50%. These include the lower doses of atorvastatin and rosuvastatin as well as simvastatin 20 to 40 mg, pravastatin 40 to 80 mg, lovastatin 40 mg, fluvastatin XL 80 mg, fluvastatin 40 mg twice a day, and pativastatin 2 to 4 mg. There are a few exceptions. Use a moderate intensity statin in group 1 if a patient is greater than 75 years old. Use a high intensity statin in group 3 if the 10 year atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease risk is greater than or equal to 7.5%. Notice something here. It is not appropriate to calculate 10 year atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease risk in groups 1 and 2. You can calculate for group 3, the diabetics, and definitely calculate for group 4. The link for the calculator is in the description below. And that's the quick summary. For more details, click the link below to review all 85 pages of the updated guideline. Be sure to read the disclaimer in the description.